What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you guys a deck that I think I actually may be playing for this upcoming format. It's a deck that's currently really under the radar but it has some insane combos and insane potential and that is Sprite Tri Brigade. I know Sprite Tri Brigade you guys might be thinking where's the synergy? How does it work? Trust me the combos and the way this deck plays out is insane but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko, deck profiles, combo videos, product openings, duels, all that good stuff, it's all gonna be here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned for all that good stuff. But I will say with this deck, I'm gonna be showing off the combo video in tomorrow's video. However, at the end of today's video, I may show you guys some test hands to show you how powerful and how consistent this deck is. I'm really honestly giving you guys the goo here. I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of this, but I actually haven't seen any lists myself. So if they are out there, let me know in the comment section down below. But for me, this is the list that I put together, the list that I've been testing myself, and I think it's so, so good. So I don't wanna keep you guys waiting for too long. So with that, Let's get into the video. All right, so just before we get into this profile, I do want to say that I'm sure I'm not the first person to create Sprite Tri Brigade. However, this is my take on the build. I actually haven't seen any other builds online. However, this build I've been testing, and I'm telling you guys, it's so consistent. I honestly think this is going to be the deck that I'm going to be playing this format because this deck is insanely powerful. It's all just one card combos that gets you to really insane boards. And the best part about this deck is that you can also fit in so many hand traps that combat the meta in today's format. So we're gonna get started off here with the sprite engine. It's a very small sprite engine, but it's all you need because again, you're not playing a sprite deck. You're playing a tri brigade deck, but the sprite engine does get you to some extenders and it helps you push the ceiling of this deck just a little bit further. So we are starting off with one sprite blue, only one. So if you guys ever wanted to play a budget version of a sprite deck, this is the way to go. We're only playing one blue, one jet, and one carrot. That's it, okay? That's all you're gonna need. I was playing Smashers originally over the carrot, but then I actually ended up changing it to carrot because I realized that Smasher, first of all, yes, it's a great card. However, it takes up just so many of your resources to actually activate and resolve it. But carrot is really good because you guys are gonna see in tomorrow's video when I do the combos, you don't really end on any spell or trap negates. Carrot gives you that option where it's kind of like, okay, now I have monster negates and disruption, but I'm also gonna have a spell or trap negate so I don't lose something silly, right? So that's why I decided to go carry it instead of the smashers and it's been working out really well for me also the fact that it's another level 2 monster means that if I actually don't open starter and I open one of these I can like normal summon the carrot or something and then special summon your blue or special summon your jet and you can go from there so that's why I still really like the carrot as well because I noticed in test hands when I would draw smashers I was like hey if this was just any other splite monster instead of a smashers I'd be fine so that's why we're playing the carrot here instead and then we are playing three splite starter now let me say this about splite starter this is legit a one card combo in your deck one card three disruptions with just this card it's so nuts so that's why i'm playing the small engine because you don't want to play a full sprite engine you don't want to commit your board to a sprite board you want to just use these cards essentially as extenders for your tri brigade combo so again this is all that you're playing for the sprite engine if you guys want to play a budget version of sprite the reason i say budget in quotation marks is because blue is still kind of expensive but i mean the rest of this is not very expensive at all so that's why this is more of a budget version of a sprite deck but this deck is insanely powerful so that's it just the six cards here then of course we're playing the tri brigade stuff and we're playing three rescue cat we're playing three we're not playing two we're playing three and the reason for that is you guys can see here in the deck profile as well we're playing gamma playing call by playing cross out this is always going to resolve or the theory behind it is that it's always going to resolve and if this card resolves it's also a one card full combo but it actually ends on more negates and more disruption than just a starter so keep this in mind one starter is full combo one cat is full combo and again i know i keep saying full combo you guys are going to see what the combo is tomorrow it's kind of it's like it's really insane i'm going to be honest with you it's insane so that's why i think this deck is just very powerful that's why you have to play three rescue cat then we're playing the standard three fractal three kit three Nerval and two Keras. The really cool thing about this deck is that Kit and Keras are both level twos, which is really cool because sometimes there's gonna be hands where let's say you open a carrot, you don't really have access to jet or blue. You can just normal summon your kit, special summon your carrot, and then you can still full combo from there. So that's a really cool thing about this deck is just the fact that carrot, your blue, your jet can all be special summoned from your hand, not even with just starter, where if you just open a kit, you still have full combo, right? If you open it plus one of these sprite monsters. So that's why the synergy here is really, really good. And these are the ratios that I've been liking a lot. I actually wanted to play three carrots at one point just because of the level two, but I think the 
two is all that you're gonna need. I tried to play the three, I opened it too much. So I actually cut the third one to play the second revolt. So we're playing here two tri brigade revolt instead of just the one. The reason I decided to play two is because if you do open it, it's still never a bad thing because the nice thing about opening revolt is you're gonna see in the combo line, you don't actually have to go into your bear brum and you can end on like an IP masquerina instead, which is actually gonna give you another form of disruption. So that's a really cool thing I like about revolt. Instead of playing three Karis, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna play two revolt because revolt is just one of those things where obviously it's searchable, but if you do open it, it's not bad either because opening revolt just means that your combo is gonna go a little bit further, right? So that's why I really like this card at two. And again, if you're ever forced to go second in games two or games three, you're always gonna side one out, right? So that's the really cool thing about revolt is that going first, when you're going into game ones, you wanna do a die roll. Going first, this card is nuts. And then going second is just an easy side out target. And then we are playing a load of hand traps here. As you guys can see, we're playing three Ash Blossom, three DD Crow, three Gamma, as well as one Driver. So we're maxing out a lot of on our hand traps. We're also playing three Imperm as well. So the reason for this is because in today's format, you either got to play board breaking cards or you got to play a ton of hand traps. And I realized with this deck that I wanted to play like Dark Ruler and stuff like that. However, there's just more synergy with the hand traps. And what I mean by that is DD Crow is really good because it's a tri beast for you. So this can be used for your revolt. This can be used for any of your tri beast effects. So this is really good in today's format as well against a tier limit matchup. So I was like, okay, each of these hand traps essentially have multiple uses. And that's why I went the hand trap route over the board breakers route. So DD Crow, like I said, is really good against today's format, but it's also a card that you can pitch off Keras. It's also a card that you can use to banish off any of your tri brigades. So that's really good. Gamma is really good going second, but Gamma also gives you the ability to safely summon the rescue cat, activate its effect, and not have to worry about an Ash Blossom. Same thing with a starter. If I go starter, they go Ash, I go Gamma, boom, you have full combo just with that because your Gamma is your level two for you for your combo to go off. So that's the thing I really like about this deck is that hand traps like DD Crow and Gamma have multi-purpose. And when you can use these cards that have multiple purposes, I think they just become a lot more stronger in your deck. And again, that's why if you wanna play board breaking cards, you can, but then automatically your deck becomes a lot more fragile. And I didn't want this deck to be like, hey, it's a bunch of one card combos, but if you Ash my one card, then I just lose. I didn't want that to happen. So that's why I'm playing the Gamma, the DD Crow as well. Imperm is also kind of like a board breaking card and going second. Like if you draw this as your sixth card and they have a board, you go Imperm to start your turn. You're perfectly fine there as well. So Imperm is obviously just a great card overall. And then yeah, of course we're playing the Ash as well because Ash is just a very generic hand trap. So I really like this lineup. I don't think I change this lineup at all. Then we're playing two Tanky. Tanky of course gets you into your Fractal. So two Tanky is important. One Called By and the two Cross Out. Again, remember how I said all the hand traps are going to have multi-purpose? What's another card that's really good against Tri Brigade? DD Crow. DD Crow's always been good against Tri Brigade because if they need a certain amount of Tri Beasts in their graveyard, you're going to DD Crow one of them and they're like, okay, now my combo is disrupted because now I don't have two to banish. I only have the one. So it becomes kind of an issue. And like I said, DD Crow is really good in this format. So a lot of people are on it. So for that reason, Cross Out makes it really good because it's like, hey, now my DD Crow has another purpose. Not only am I going to be DD Crowing my opponent, not only am I going to be using this to use my Tri Brigade effects, I'm also going to be using this to protect myself from a DD Crow. Same thing with the Ash and all that stuff. You're going to be protecting yourself from that. So Cross Out is really, really powerful in this deck. And I just think two is fine because essentially you're playing the call by the grave as the third copy. So I think one and two is a perfectly fine ratio. So that's it. 40 card main deck. This deck I think is so clean. And again, you guys are going to see in the combo video tomorrow, or I might show you guys at the end of the video, there's no brick hands. None of these hands brick. It's so crazy. Unless you open five hand traps, you don't brick. If you open four hand traps and a starter or four hand traps and a rescue cat, you have full combo. That's the craziest part about this deck. So then we're going to move into the extra deck here. We are playing one gigantic sprite as well as one sprite elf. This is just important for your combo. So you need to be playing these two. And now we're playing the one pit knight early. This card is insane. I read this card and I was like, this is really cool, but it's going to have like really weird ways to get the effect off. How am I ever going to get the effect off? Turns out this deck can just abuse this card so well. So if anyone doesn't know, this card pretty much says when a monster that this card points to activates its effect, except during the damage step, quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. It's a Attack becomes zero. Also, you can negate its effects. It has a second effect. That's not important. But the important part is that first effect. Because essentially, when you combo this with your Sprite Elf on your opponent's turn, you can activate your Sprite Elf, summon something back from your graveyard. This is now going to act as a disruption because it's going to be able to target a monster your opponent controls and negate it. It's just so powerful. That's why I really like this card. And it's so easy to make in this deck. And then we are playing the two 
omen omen is very powerful as well obviously you're always going to be making this off of your revolt but on top of that there are combo lines where you actually go omen first so that's why you playing the two we're playing the one rugal now i want to talk about the extra deck a little bit because there are some things you guys can change up and i'll talk about that in a second but you are playing one rugal one bear brum two fair jeet and we're playing the one light heart scare call light heart is really good because it's a link one so essentially if you open just keras nerval right you can go keras pitch nerval and then you can go keras to banish one to summon this and then now you have more than just two of the tri beasts in rotation because then you can link the keras and the light heart off into like a fair g potentially fair g effect etc etc you guys can see where it goes right so that's why uh, i really like the one light heart then you're playing the ip mascarena the double dragon lords these are pretty standard in tri brigade if you guys have ever played tri brigade you're playing the ip as well as the double dragon lords you're playing the doom eagle doom eagle is really good in today's format keep in mind like i said dd crow is a really good card this card is a quick effect dd crow so there's times where you can actually just end on a doom eagle and hold it against the tier limit matchups because you're like okay let's say i have a dd crow in hand and then i just have this on board you essentially have double dd crow and then doom eagle is one of those things also where it's a dd crow every single turn for you because it's a quick effect so you can do it on your turn but you can also do it on your opponent's turn which is very very powerful and then we're playing the one access code talker as well as the one apollo this is pretty standard i think for the try stuff now the thing is with the extra deck that i wanted to mention is i found myself not really going to rugal as often if i ever wanted to go into access code i would always just go into the doom eagle the only reason i decided to play the rugal is because i was like hey the doom eagle is really good in other situations where i can just sit on the doom eagle nowadays so that's why i wanted to play the rugal however some other really cool options for you are all mirage all mirage i decided to cut because this deck is just so consistent and there was never really hands where i just had to normal summon nerval link nerval away and then hope nerval resolves so that's kind of one of those things where all mirage is really good in those situations but essentially you should never be in those situations with this deck and then another cool tech that i wanted to play was the sky cavalry centuria as well as the zeus and the reason i wanted to play this was again because with the sprite engine you have access to rank twos a little bit easier so if you guys wanted to play this engine as well you guys can do this it's very powerful you guys can cut maybe the light heart maybe a fair g you don't have to play two fair g in this deck so you can play maybe cut one on one or you can cut the rugal and the light heart for this package i just want to show you guys different options this deck is just so so powerful and there's just so many different things you can do with it it is a very tight extra deck i'll be honest with you but there's just different options you can also play omega i don't even have omega here but we are playing the gamma package so you can play omega here as well if you guys wanted to do that so again i think there are certain things that you can't remove like gigantic sprite elf early uh the omens the bear brahm uh you know these cards over here i don't think any of these cards can change there's also a combo where you end on ip so you never really want to take out ip but there are certain cards like the rugal the light heart the fair g that you guys can maybe cut or put to one so that's the thing with this deck right so it's a lot of different things you guys can try out i want you guys to try them all out for yourselves because i think this deck is so so powerful and trust me when i show you guys the combos in tomorrow's video why this deck is just so so consistent actually i'm going to show you guys right now let me check my test 10 settings okay so it's on shuffle deck so here let's just shuffle our deck look at this this is a one card combo and we have gamma so we already have a one card combo plus gamma let's go next okay we have one card combo plus gamma so this is two hands in a row here our hand is not that great but we do have a gamma that we can normal summon special summon our jet get to our starter we do have a cross out for any disruption so actually we can combo with this hand just because we have two level twos in our hand right so this is a combo hand as well here we have full combo we have cat here we have full combo we have cat and sprite so you guys can see how consistent this deck is here we still have tri combo because we have fractal plus keras plus gammas right so if we activate fractal to send to the graveyard they go ash or something like that you go gamma right so you're fine so there's still combo there we still have combo here you guys can see i'm just not even editing this part out this is full combo we have the called by plus the rescue cat we even have a sprite blue here uh this here is full combo you have starter you guys are gonna see what i mean by full combo by the way in tomorrow's video you guys are gonna see why just one starter or one cat is full combo so yeah that's that's it for the deck profile i just really wanted to show you guys how consistent like you guys saw i was not editing that at all it's completely just full restart test hands and i showed you guys that all hands can pretty much combo this deck is so so consistent i really think you guys should try this out for yourselves so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy this is my take on sprite tri brigade again like i showed you guys with the extra deck there are some changes that could be made again and with further testing i can finalize something but i wanted to give you guys different options because if you guys want to try this deck out for yourself you guys can try different things and see what you guys like a little bit more however i think the deck itself is in such a good spot right now that i don't think i would change the main deck but the extra deck again you guys can do like i said the different things that you can try right so thank you guys all for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we're on the road to 7,000 subscribers we're so close so make sure you guys are subscribed we upload five days a week here on spankle you guys don't want to miss out be part of the spankle squad so thank Thank you guys again all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. That's Banco signing out. Peace.